Yes, yes, yes. This is Gabe Brooks. Thank you very much for coming back. Uh, let's get rid of some housekeeping details first. Uh, started weight at 305. Uh, lost 29 pounds so far, so an additional four from last week. Current weight is 276, right before I did uh, videotape here. So we're still going in the right direction. Thank you very much for your support, and I look forward to reporting each week. Okay, one of the things that I want to talk about today is the concept of being all in and in your trading career. Um, and in order to be all in, I'm talking about so that you can get every edge that you're trying to get in the marketplace. You need every edge. With all these computer algorithms and professional traders stepping up, changing the game, you have got to get your edge. So, one of the things you've got to know how to use your mind. And uh, retention is one of those things that can give you an edge. So you've got to figure out how to, how to retain information more. When I'm training my students, what I do is I give them tasks to do, writing, homework assignments. And the reason I give them the homework assignments is because I'm actually trying to install the information that I'm trying to teach them into their memory, into their long-term memory, so that they can remember and recall things quickly, fast, on the button, so that they're not hesitating, wondering if this right or is this right or that right. So that's the first step. Because here's what I know about memory. When you get any kind of new information, here's what happens. You start out, let's say, remembering 75 to 80 percent of what you hear. If you do not start reviewing that information immediately, you will forget that information quickly. So what happens is, is that the first day, if you don't review, you lost uh, about 25 percent. Second day, 10 percent, and you keep reducing from there. So what happens is, is that, so I try to keep my students and I give them homework assignments, space out, space repetition, so that we can install that information into their long-term memory so that they have recall when they need it, when they're dealing with the live markets, you know, in the heat of the battle with all the jiggles and wiggles. Okay? So anyway, that's what you need to do. Now, I have some other tricks that I use for myself so that I can remember things. I have a, a little acronym that I use to remember the planets back in the old days. Um, and, and so you have the sun. Yeah, I have a ship here, motor vessel, earth. And I have Michael Jordan playing with a basketball, shooting the basketball into the hoop. Now what that stands for is, is I've got the sun. Okay, then you have Mercury, Venus, uh, Earth, Mars. Uh, you have Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. So you have the seven planets, but that, the reason I'm sharing that is not because of that. I use that acronym, that picture, that little diagram so that I can prepare. That's my little memory mechanism that I use to prepare for my daily trading. So when I use it, I use the sun, but I spell the sun differently, S-O-N. And the S-O-N in my mind stands for study the overnight market. Now, I have a procedure attached with each one of the, the M, the V, the Earth, the MJ. The, I have a procedure attached to it. For example, uh, Mercury is the hottest planet. So i got H-O-T. Now, what I've done is I've associated my preparation with the H, the O, and the T. So I have some things that go along with that. So I've done that whole process for this so that I can quickly remember what do I need to do to prepare every single day. And I just recall it, boom, 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 go right down the list and get it done. So that's a little trick that I play with myself. One of the other things that I do, especially for trading in the marketplace, is um, I have my first trade set up. Opening bell, I got my line right here. My line is right here, opening bell. I can take the opening bell to yesterday's close in this direction or take it to this, this direction. Now, my second trade goes from here to an extension up to here, or from here to an extension down to there. So that's my second trade. Then I have my third trade being the triangle reversal that I take down here to go up, or I take up here to come down. So the next trade is that I know that, um, that the marketplace goes, in my mind, it goes, it, it goes down the golf shaft, and then it forms little balance areas here. Uh, being uh, the club, the club face. So if you got a putter, boom, right there. That's how the golf club is going back and forth inside here in the balance area. Or it goes up the flagpole and forms a flag up here. 
you're going to trade on the edges over here. So then I, I have a fifth trade. That's a 95% trade. 95% trade. I take over here, over here, or over here, over here. And so that's how it's unfolding. And then I have the rest of my trades are either balanced trades here, golf, going down the golf club, and this, having an extension here to be like a hockey club, for example, hockey stick, okay, going down. Or you have other flag poles being developed, and you got other flag extensions. And so I have all those different things taking place at different times during the day. So but the reason I'm saying this is because this here map here is my trading plan in picture format so that it unfolds as the day goes on so I don't get caught in the wiggles and jiggles. All I know is that I can follow my little trading plan as the market unfolds. So that's what we're doing here. So it's just I don't want to give somebody an edge. So you figure out how you can memorize things a little bit better, study memory techniques, whatever you need to do. But do that so that you can have an edge so that when you're live in the marketplace, you're not trying to think about what you need to do. You know what's happening next. You know how to operate. You go from here to here to here. Bam. And that gives you an edge so that you go with confidence when you're in the live marketplace. Okay? Now, one of the other things that I want to talk about today is why... People lack patience and discipline when trading. Why is it? Okay, I found that there's seven reasons as working with my students and mentoring. I found that there were seven reasons. The first thing is that you don't truly understand price flow. Now, when I mention this to people, they say, oh, I understand. Okay, market test the high, test the low, it does this, it does that. And they think they understand what's happening with price flow. But I challenge you, the people that think that they understand it, I challenge you to say, how would you trade every single minute of the marketplace? If you don't know how to trade every single minute, of, I'm not saying to trade every minute of the marketplace, but if you don't know how to attack every single minute of the marketplace, you may not know exactly how price flows. So you need to understand that there's a possibility that you don't know something. So use that as your basis and figure out exactly how price flows. If you don't know, get that information because it's critical, because that's one of the reasons that you lack patience or discipline. The second reason that people lack patience or discipline is that they don't have a trading plan that unfolds as the market unfolds. You need to have something so that your mind can sequentially start thinking and say, I should see this, I should see that, I should see this, this comes next, this comes next, this comes next, or this could be, or this could be. So you need a trading plan that unfolds as the market unfolds. The next reason that people don't have patience or discipline is because they don't have a specific philosophy about the details of trading. So you need to get a specific philosophy about the details of trading. And then if you take any new information in, filter it from the philosophy that you have on trading. Make sure you get the correct philosophy. The, uh, the fourth reason that people don't have patience or discipline is because they don't know how to scale a small account to be, get it to become larger. What happens is, is you've got to deal with the discipline of you're actually better as a trader than what your account is showing. So you've got to deal with that mental gap and patience internally so that you can get there. The fifth thing is, is that the big rewards in trading come from, comes from when you know that you take the trades, you wait for them to come to here, you wait for it to come here, you wait for it to come here, and then you're taking trades that have a higher reward to risk ratio possibility. So that's one of the things that you've got to do is to have patience. The other thing is that you need to stick to something long enough so that you can um, you know, get that edge in your belief system so that your belief system says, I believe in my system and I'm going to take my trades and go for it. The seventh thing that you don't understand is, is that you need to know how to filter the information and you need to know that you filter information differently than other people. So you need to know how you're filtering information in this world and then process your trade setups, your trade discipline, based on how you filter information. Hopefully those things help you. Thank you very much.